Cardinals, happy Thursday to everyone. Hope and pray you had a blessed evening. If we could please take a moment to put ourselves in the presence of God and listen to today's reading. Today we honor St. Catherine of Siena, who was an Italian theologian and philosopher. She is one of only four female doctors of the church because of her important writings and her leadership. In today's reading, Peter and the apostles refer to Jesus as their leader, and Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priests and all who were with him arrested the apostles and put them in the public prison. They had them stand before the council. The high priest questioned them, saying, We gave you strict orders not to teach in Jesus' name. Yet here you have fulfilled, you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching, and you are determined to bring the Jesus blood on us. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than any human authority. The God of our ancestors raised up Jesus, whom you had killed by any of the truth. God exalted Jesus at his right hand as leader and as savior, that he might give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Brothers and sisters, the world is going to tell you not to follow Christ. The world is going to tell you to be selfish. The world is going to tell you to do all the things that are not of God. And just as the apostles had to contend with the high priests, the authorities, they knew what they were called to do. And so, brothers and sisters, you and I, till this day, still contend with worldly worldly destruction right? that try to separate us from God. But we need to remain steadfast just like the apostles and recognize that we need to stand firm on Jesus, stand firm on the teachings of Christ, and stand firm on the fact that God is for us and that we have a calling to be God's children and God's disciples, God's living saints. So let us be like the apostles, brothers and sisters, and recognize that maybe the world is telling us what we shouldn't be doing demanding of us, let us stand true on the foundation of Christ and follow the example that he set before all of us to follow and to promote the gospel. So I thank you, Cardinals, for the support we give one another in this journey of faith, recognizing our calling, and I pray that we continue to do so. God bless you, and thank you. A good Catholic student prays daily, knows and understands our faith, demonstrates a spirit of service. A lifelong learner thinks critically, develops skills and knowledge, and participates in the arts. A person of good moral character accepts accountability for their actions, respects school, peers, and adults, and acts as a good steward of the earth. If you could please take a moment now to stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. God bless America and God bless our world. Hope and pray you have a blessed day. God bless. You.